That cat bite looks like tiny punch holes, almost harmless, right? As a radiologist, I take this extremely serious. Let me tell you why. When someone comes into the emergency room after a cat bite, I'm the one who's looking at the x-rays or the CT scans. And here's the thing. Cats don't bite like dogs. Their teeth are thin and they are sharp, like tiny needles. On x-ray or CT scan, I'm checking for tooth fragments that were left behind or air trapped within the soft tissue is a sign that the bacteria was driven deep inside. But here's the scary part. Early infection often doesn't show up on the scan. So a normal x-ray or CT scan doesn't mean that you're okay. Cat bites to the hand or face area, especially bad. The hand has a lot of tight spaces with tendons, joints that are packed closely together. So infection spreads pretty fast and can damage movement permanently. For the face, infection can spread rapidly through the soft tissues and in rare cases, reach even the deeper structures. Days after the cat bite, now image and mice suddenly show swelling, fluid collection or abscesses, which are basically pockets of infection in the soft tissues and they might need drainage or even surgery. We don't wait on the images alone. Cat bites often need antibiotics immediately because bacteria like Pasteurella can cause serious infection within hours. So if you've been bitten by a cat, especially in the hand or your face area, don't judge it by how small the bite looks. Get medical care early. Imaging helps us see complications, but early treatment prevents them from happening. Comment below what your experiences have been and follow for more.